good part about living in Georgia. If I needed any part, like last minute thing type of part, I can always come to Summit Racing. Look what they got over there. Hey, we're gonna come check that out, man. This is an early Sunday morning. And I woke up needing a couple of parts for the mini truck for the Tacoma. So all I really had to do was just drive here, uh, which is, it was like 40 minute drive, not bad. Rather than just waiting on them parts for a couple of days, I could just drive here and get them the same day. And when we walk in the main entrance, I saw something really, really, really nice. I'm not a big Porsche guy, but I'm gonna show you guys right now. So look at the color, that red, red. I wish my IS300 had that type of red. I wouldn't be thinking about moving the red if it was that deep of red. Um, I really have no hate for this car. I like the way it looks. I like the way it shines. Somebody really took their time with this type of paint job. Um, we're a little bit far away on that type of paint job for the mini truck, but we'll get it together. And as you guys can see, this is one of the little things that I came to get. This is some of the bushings for my rear suspension. Um, they were all turn apart. I guess they were just, you know, sitting outside for so long. That I, I don't know how really how long this mini truck sit for a while, but some of them I was able to take out with no problem. But in some of these cases, I had to actually cut the 19 inch bolt and everything out of there because it would not come loose. It would actually weld it to the bushing. So on the rear part of it. Um, I tried my best as well. I had some PB blaster trying to help my situation. No, I had to continue to work on it. I decided to bang it up with the hammer to see if I get a couple of things out. That didn't work. So, you know, I said, you know what? Let me get this um, air compressor out of there because it was actually on my way as well. Um, I'm going to be remounting it somewhere else. The re only reason I had it on there is because I wanted to see if it was convenient, but it's really not. I'd rather have it somewhere else. Um, I got kind of tired of beating things up with the hammer. Nothing really worked. And this is kind of where I decided to just go ahead and get my grinder and kind of get busy in there, you guys. Because, like, other than that, I was pretty much stranded. I don't think I was going to be able to finish this that same day. So even though um, I had to run down and still racing twice, this is literally a little, like minutes before I ran down and go buy more bushings because I didn't really think about the ones in the bottom. And they were all, they were really actually worse, you know, because it takes like more stress down there and they're actually always you know exposed to like water and all kinds of other stuff on the road so to be honest um it was kind of draining me out but this is kind of like the final outcome um i did some welding that same day but it got dark on me um this is one of the things i also did on that same day i was able to put this um air, the breeder for my fuel tank and the fitting was going to be too long with the line. So I decided to just mount the breeder. It actually went in there actually pretty tight. And I always keep most of these Yamaha small emblems, like original emblems. And I actually, instead of trying to remove the Chevy emblem that came in the filter, um, I actually decided to put that Yamaha on there. So I was kind of happy with the outcome. It came out better than what I expected. I, to be honest, I was happy with the way it came out because I wasn't trying to, you know, spend minutes trying to grind this off and then paint in the top of the filter it's just so much for such a little thing so it came out way better than what i expected so one of the best angles of the truck is actually the front end uh, especially the engine bay that's kind of what really gets to me uh, as far as like everything else the engine bay is really the number one thing that kind of gives me hype because i got a lot going on in there um power coated on um, bow cover um intake is something that i kind of did a little different closer to a firewall nobody really done it like that let me know what you guys think about the truck and thanks you guys again for liking and subscribing and staying tuned. I'll be bringing more to you guys soon. Thanks.